Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Sassy and Chic nail stickers. So these are stickers that are meant to replace nail polish. They're supposed to last a lot longer than nail polish, I think up to like two weeks. And it's supposed to be much easier to apply and things like that. So this comes with one sheet and 19 stickers. So it gives you a few different options rather than coming with 10, which is really nice. Back has the instructions and it says that you select the size that fits your nail, apply to nail, smooth away from center and over edges of nail, and then you file the excess material. So it seems simple enough. I'm gonna go ahead and do one just to kind of show you how you're supposed to do it and so that you can see for yourself how it also works. It has a list of ingredients, which is interesting. Uh, cellulose gum, polyvinyl chloride, and polyacrylic acid. There, do not apply around eyes, do not apply around lips. I don't know why you would, but the warning is there, which means someone probably has, which is cool. This product is made in Taiwan. There are several different like brands of these that are out now. So I'm going to go ahead and take, open this up. I have used these before, just as an FYI, I'm not, this is not like a dry run here. I haven't used this specific pattern though. I have used this brand before though. Um, so I'll get into like how it worked and how I liked it after I do like a little demo of it. So it comes in like plastic packaging, just like that. And then in a little cardboard thing. And there you go, and you have them all here. So I kind of like to just measure it out which is going to be which. So I think that one will be too big for my thumb. I think this will be like, I'm going to do this hand because I'm right handed so it'll be easier just for a demo. I think this is going to be a good one for my thumb. You can kind of like gauge each one and like kind of measure them out which is really nice. So I'm going to do this shimmery glitter sticker for my thumb. I'm going to keep my instructions handy right here. So you select the size that fits your nail and then you apply it to your nail and smooth away from center and over the edges. So take the sticker, sticks on there pretty good. There go. I'm going to apply it to my nail as easily to the close to the center as I possibly can, as close to the center and as straight. I'm going to turn it this way, actually. The rounded part, it doesn't say, but the rounded part, you can see one side is a little bit more rounded than the other. I'm going to put that one, that side, down closer. And then you just smooth it onto your... I usually, I like to smooth it up. And so that looks pretty funky right now. But then you take your nail file, try and just get it, try to get it as smooth as possible. Then you take your nail file and you file the excess product. It breaks pretty easily once you start filing it away. So you kind of just file from like where your nail is and the product starts coming off and there you go. Just put that here and then just kind of file it to make sure it's nice and smooth against your nail. Kind of like to make sure I do like these little edges here because that's kind of not super even. Keep smoothing it out, keep smoothing it out just to make sure it's nice and smooth. This wasn't like a perfect fit so I would probably go in with like some scissors like brow scissors or something and just like snip that part right there because you can kind of see that it's a little funky but overall, whoops. I don't know why I just, oh, you can't even see it. I don't know why I just, that I kind of just filed over the top. I'm not sure why I did that force of habit, I guess. Just try to smooth it. So you want to be careful when you're filing because it files away very, very, very easily. So that's probably another option you can do with this here, the sides. All right, so let's get into what I actually think about it. So now that you've kind of seen it in action, Looks like it chipped already, but that's my own fault. I filed over it and I don't know why I did that. But overall, you can see it doesn't look too bad for just like a quick little run through. If I wasn't doing the video, I probably would have taken my time a little bit more and it would have been, would it would look better. And like I said, I would have cut this little excess part here. I don't know if you can like see that really clearly. 
I would cut around before I put it on. Overall though, it's not bad. I really, it's, and it saves a lot of time because there's no drying time or anything like that, which is really nice. I like how easily it files down after you place it on and you file the excess, and it does last quite a while. It doesn't last, I think, this one doesn't have a time frame of how long it should last, but like other ones typically say like two weeks. I usually have it on for like maybe, not quite two weeks, a little over a week, maybe like a week and a half, a week to a week and a half, which is pretty good, especially for something that didn't take too long to apply. So yeah, I think if you're ever like in a pinch and you really want your nails done, but you like don't have time to sit around waiting for it to dry, this is a good option. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.